Astronauts Bob Banken and Doug Hurley are approaching their first week in space after Saturday's historic launch from Kennedy Space Center. Emily DeVoe spoke to one East Tennessean who helped make sure the launch was successful. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. As the Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from the launch pad Saturday afternoon, Steve Gaddis was in this room known as the Operations and Support Center in Huntsville, Alabama. All hands on deck. Everybody's focused. Everybody's, you know, looking at the readouts. They're making sure that they understand what's going on with the vehicle, uh, with the capsule, what's going on with the astronauts, what's going on on the ground. A graduate of the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. I graduated in, in 1988 with mechanical engineering. All, all of all of my family's in East Knoxville. Gaddis is one of the top officials in NASA's commercial crew program at Marshall Space Flight Center. We're responsible for getting the, the, the rockets of our commercial partners certified and human rated for launch. To limit close interactions due to COVID-19, Gaddis and his team worked remotely in Alabama instead of traveling to Florida for the launch. We're go for launch. Let's light this candle. Team set everything up for us to do everything remotely. We had our whole team in there. We were able to keep the social distancing. We were able to still talk with, with all of the controllers, um, the launch complex at Kennedy and also back in Houston and also in Hawthorne, California with SpaceX. Uh, so it, it worked worked out very well. Even though his work on this mission is complete. Every phase of the mission took place just the way that it was supposed to. That's always nice when it happens that way. Gaddis and his team are already preparing for the next launch for SpaceX and eventually Boeing. Honestly, I'm proud to, to be a part of it. It's, it's just amazing. Personally, I feel like it's a new era. Like. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe.